News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Quite a different story compared to yesterday. We've got sunshine mixing in with the clouds out there. Beautiful cloud deck uh, currently outside right now over Ephrata and Lancaster County and northern Dauphin County got hit very hard with the rain that we had yesterday. More than three inches in spots. Right now in Ephrata, it's 77 degrees and winds are brisk out of the west at 18 miles per hour. Here is your News 8 Storm Team Forecast. Staying in Lancaster County. Looking at Gap, temperatures will warm today to near 80 degrees with that brisk breeze out of the west northwest. Temperatures tonight will be on the cool side. We're back down primarily in the upper 50s. Some spots even cooler than that. A few isolated spots near 60 degrees. And then tomorrow, much of the same story. Temperatures back up to near 80 degrees. A little bit cooler than today, I anticipate, with partly sunny skies and also just the threat of a few isolated showers. That rain really came down hard over the past uh, 24 hours. Lingolstown, more than three inches. Same same story in Ephrata, at Dover, just over an inch. But the rain has been extremely high. You've heard the phrase before of a 100-year flood or a 500-year event. It looks like that is going to be the case out toward Long Island. Um, Islip, New York, picked up 13 inches of rain in the past 24 hours. Quite the difference compared to what we saw. And for our rainfall totals, we're actually doing well for the month of August. Thanks to the heavy rain we got yesterday, we're now more than an inch and a half above average for the month for the year, seven and a half inches above month. Concerning the high temperatures, very cool for this month as well. The warmest temperature so far that we have seen this month has been 88 degrees. I don't see a 90 degree day in the forecast for the next seven days. So the heavy rain continues to pound. New England, we have the chance of an isolated shower from some leftover upper level energy coming in this afternoon. If you see some rain, it is going to be very brief and not intense. May have to turn on the windshield wipers for a few minutes, but I'd still play, uh, have outdoor plants if you have them through the day today. 79 right now in Harrisburg, 77 currently in York. We have the two peace storm system moving away from us, but there is a cold front that is going to try to move down from the northwest through the day tomorrow. But back off to the west, look how quiet the weather is. Very large ridge of high pressure bringing in cool Canadian air down across the Great Lakes. That will continue to be uh, with us for the next couple of days. So here in our predictor, you can see through the afternoon a mix of sunshine and clouds with just the chance of an isolated shower. Skies will clear out for the most part tonight. Then as we head into tomorrow, here comes that next piece of uh, energy with that cold front. May trigger an Isolated shower. Most of us will stay dry. Tomorrow night looks to be rather cool. Temperatures in the mid 50s as we head into Friday, which will feature more in the way of sunshine. For the first pitch forecast, as the Patriots take on the Barnstormers, temperatures will be in the upper 70s at the start of the game, dropping to the mid 70s. So our high will be near 80 degrees today. We'll only see a high in the upper 70s on Thursday. How about Friday? Only making it to the mid 70s, more like a September stretch of weather. We'll warm back up to where we should be for mid August by the time we reach the weekend, and we'll also start to see an increasing for those chances for some showers and thunderstorms late on the weekend as well. You know, I really haven't heard anybody complaining about no. the weather we've had of late. My utility bill, nice and low. I know, we just, my husband and I were just talking yes. about that, so <laughs> can't do anything about it anyway. All right, All right thanks very much.